All right, what's up, folks? Rich Van Tassel with you, giving you the recap of the divisional game in the AFC. The Jacksonville Jaguars, 45-42 over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Jacksonville got out to a big lead. Pittsburgh came back at times, got it to within one score. The final three-point deficit came on a touchdown with about a second left, however, when they were down 10. So it really wasn't ever that close. Certainly not as close as the three-point score. Um, Pittsburgh had their opportunities, but every time Jacksonville had the answer. Blake Bortles, 14-26, 214 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. We'll talk about that after the box score. Leonard Fournette, 25 carries, 109 yards, 4.4 per rush, three touchdowns. Blake Bortles, 5 of 35, 7 yards per rush. TJ Yeldon, who I think was an unsung hero in this game, 5 of 20, 4 yards per rush one touchdown the team 35 of 164 4.7 yards per rush four touchdowns TJ Yeldon three receptions 57 yards had a huge 40 yard reception on a third down uh, that was in the fourth quarter that it was again in a situation where the Pittsburgh Steelers had just scored to cut it to seven it led to a touchdown Keelan Cole one of 45 Marquise Lee three of 28 Ben Koyak one of 21 Tommy Bohannon had the 14 yard touchdown Telvin Smith recovered a fumble. He returned that for a touchdown. Blake Bortles fumbled. It was not lost. He recovered it himself. The team had two sacks. Marcel Darius and Yannick. I don't even I keep messing this guy's name up the whole year. Yannick and Gauche. And Gauche. I, I, whatever his name is. I still can't get it right. Miles Jack had an interception. It led to seven points. Corey Grant, two kick returns, 44 yards. Keelan Cole, one of three. There were no punt returns. Josh Lambeau made his only field goal that put them up 10. It was a pretty decent uh, length in field goal. It was about 45 yards. He put it right down the middle with under two minutes left to put him up 10 and really seal the game. Ben Roethlisberger, again, threw the ball a lot. 37-58, 469 yards, five touchdowns, one interception. He had the fumble that was returned for a touchdown. Le'Veon Bell. 16 receptions, 67 yards, one touchdown. Ben Roethlisberger, 2 of 16. or Yeah, this is running. 8 yards per rush. The team, 18 of 83, 4.6 yards per rush to the touchdown by Bell. Antonio Brown. I don't know who you're going to say won this matchup between him and Jalen Ramsey. Antonio Brown was 7 of 132, two touchdowns. A lot of passing was done by the Pittsburgh Steelers in this game. However, Vance McDonald, 10 of 112. Le'Veon Bell, 9 of 88, a touchdown. Martavis Bryant, 2 of 78, a touchdown. He had a long touchdown at the end of the first half on fourth down. That really gave the Pittsburgh Steelers life. I thought it may be a situation that Pittsburgh was going to come back on. We'll talk about that more in the end. Juju Smith-Schuster, 3 for 5. He had a touchdown. That was at the end of the game. It was meaningless. Ben Roethlisberger lost a fumble again. That was returned for a touchdown. There were no sacks, no interceptions. Fitzgerald, Toussaint, two kick returns, 59 yards. Juju Smith-Schuster, 1 of 23. Cameron Sutton, 1 of 22. 4 of 104, 26 yards per return with the longest of 34 in the return game is pretty good. But again, it's not good when you're, re when you're returning the ball that many times because the other team's scoring. Chris Boswell did not attempt any field goals. So, Blake Bortles, we've discussed this many times. He was missing a lot of passes at times in this game, did not make the critical mistake. The thing that differentiates Blake Bortles from other quote-unquote game managers, and I really hate that term, I'm just using it because it's what's recognizable in this situation, is Blake Bortles has the capability to still make plays. The only reason you Blake Bortles holds you back as a quarterback is the decisions he's made. When he's not making bad decisions, he can certainly be effective not doing a whole lot. The thing with Blake Bortles is he's still a guy who can make throws. You can let him him go downfield you can allow him to make plays he can certainly run the ball he's not like as we said um you know the guys who have rode good defenses the Super Bowls you're looking at the Brock Oswald as Peyton Manning now again I'm not putting Peyton Manning in a poor class but Peyton Manning when he won that Super Bowl with the Denver Broncos was not doing much of anything his skills had had diminished at that point that's the only reason I'm bringing him up of course Trent Dilfer Brad Johnson take your pick Joe Flacco to a certain extent Blake Bortles has a capability to make plays. He has a big arm. He can make throws. He's talented, was a high draft pick, and he did it in this one. He Again, TJ Yeldon, I think, was an unsung hero in this game, or maybe he'll get the credit he deserves. I don't know. He certainly played very well in this one. For the Steelers, they got out to a poor start, and they just could not respond at time. There's a lot going to be a lot of questions about the onside kick that Mike Tomlin did after they got it to seven points with over two minutes left. Uh, I didn't like the call. Um, 
um, so much. I didn't like it in the sense that what I would like to see there, if you're going to do it, kick the ball a little bit. Maybe, you know, you're already starting at the 35, and I'd like to see more teams just do this in general because you have that advantage from the 35. You know, maybe kick it 15, 20 yards downfield because you got to stop them anyway. Yeah, you might get backed up. If they get the first down, they're going to win anyway. But you might get backed up, but at least they're not going to be in field goal range if they don't get the first down. With this one, it went like, five yards and then they got a five yard penalty on it so all they needed to do was gain a few yards in that regard you know maybe just loop it over the defense let it go to the 50 let guys run down there and get it I don't know that's what I would have done I, I don't agree with the onside kick in the sense that they did it in that one as far as the manner in which they use the onside kick but it is what it is Ben Roethlisberger uh was throwing the ball a lot the running game couldn't get going but they had the early turnover, and they just got behind. And hands off to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Their offense was moving the ball, and they did a good job in this one. And they will move on to play the New England Patriots. All right, when the game between the Saints and the Vikings go final, we will give you the recap of that. And, of course, we appreciate all subscriptions as well. Thank you all very much, and we will see you next time. Have a good one.